मीटिंग स्टार्ट कर लीजिए रेकॉर्डिंग चालू रेकॉर्डिंग दिखते है Hello students. Today we are going to discuss about experiment number two from our subject CAD CAM automation. Title of this experiment is Stress and Deflection Analysis of Beam Using Finite Element Software. We are going to conduct. We are going to perform this experiment using NC software. So the problem statement is given to determine the deflection and stresses acting on cantilever beam with a point load of 750 newton acting at one of its end and perpendicular to axis of the beam the material properties given are engs modulus 2 into 10 to 5 mega pascal poisson's ratio 0.3 and other properties Cross sectional properties are given. Length of the beam 2000 mm, breadth 100 mm, height 500 mm, height 50 mm. So, the objectives of this experiment is we should understand the basics of modeling as well as to perform analysis using NC software. Uh, we should understand how the boundary condition or loading condition will affect. the component or uh, and we can compare this uh, virtual analysis <coughs> with the real life problem to understand the application of boundary conditions similar to real world and generate solution to ensure design which can sustain with the applied load and boundary conditions you can see the figure of this beam one end of the beam is fixed left end with fixed support at the free end point load is applied of 750 newton vertically downwards then cross section of this beam is given 50 mm by 100 mm with the length of 2000 mm okay so if you go through this instruction manual the uh, each and every step is mentioned in this manual so you can follow each and every step and you will get to know how to perform the experiment using nc software so basically there are any experiment or any analysis can be performed using three step reprocessing second step solution and third step post processing so any analysis can be performed uh, using this three steps only and all these steps or what are the steps we need to follow uh, that procedure is given in this instruction manual you can refer this instruction manual and you can solve this problem using software on your own us okay. so let us go to this software screen okay. so this is ansys apdl window apdl means ansys parametric design language so there are two type of tools uh used by the nc software one is apdl another one is workbench okay so we are going to perform this experiment using this nc apdl so you can see the main menu tree which includes different commands
so we'll go step by step first you need to click on preferences then select environment we'll select the structural environment because this uh, problem comes under structural setup you can see the different commands are also given preprocessor solution general post processor then time history post processing session editor you can see the user output window so initially we need to select the environment in which we are going to perform this analysis To select preferences, you can see the various disciplines given structural, thermal, and cis fluid, okay, electromagnetic. So we need to select structural, click on structural window, then click on OK. Then structural environment is set in the software. Then we need to select element type. Then uh, we'll do the modeling, meshing, applying loads, boundary condition, etc. This will be done by preprocessor tool. Okay, let us click on preprocessor. Then select element type. Add element, click on add. This element type window will come. Click on add again. Then this library of element type will open. Here different type of elements are provided as per the requirement. So this problem uh, we need to solve by using one dimensional element okay so and the element type we, we need to use is beam element for beam element we also have different subtypes so we'll use two node 188 type of element there is another type three node two node is linear 1d element means one element and two nodes and three node is a quadratic type of 1d element one internal node is provided for the calculation purpose okay so select two node 188 and then click on ok this element will be added you can see the element type is added define beam 188 and you can close this window by these are some element options okay. close this window then we have selected a beam element so we need to provide a cross section properties of this beam element so click on beam click on common sections you can give the id number name subtype which includes different cross section like circular cross section Assigning the cross section, we'll select material properties for this beam material. Go to material properties, click on material model, then go to structural, linear, elastic, and then isotropic. Okay, so we need to assign angst modulus 2.1 10 to 5 and Poisson's ratio 0.3. Click on OK and close this window. 
so element type cross sectional area assign material properties assign go to modeling create key points in active coordinate system so we'll create key points one by one so first point we are having coordinates zero zero okay so as per the experiment uh, we'll create two key points okay so second key point having coordinates 2000 so we can we'll join these two key points by selecting lines straight line in active coordinates and then join these two lines then after modeling we'll do the meshing select size control in size control there are two uh, three type of command given so we'll select second command is manual size click on manual then click on lines select all lines we have only one line in which here we have element size for selected lines okay so we'll put number of element division means uh, we'll mesh this line uh, for using one element only okay so click on ok this lines will be meshed with using one element okay. and click on mesh select lines there is only one line will select it and then click on OK. Meshing will be done. So we have performed, we have assigned element type, then cross section for beam, uh, beam element, then we have assigned metal properties, then modeling is done, then we perform meshing. After meshing, we need to apply boundary condition loads and fixed support okay for that we have option loads over here we'll select loads then define loads go to apply structural so uh, this is structural analysis so uh, as we say the structural environment is set so whatever the boundary conditions are required for structural analysis those will be visible uh, in this window so we'll initially we'll ap apply fixed support on the key points okay so select displacement on key points so one end is fixed so we'll select key point one click on ok all degrees of this degrees of freedom for this point will be constrained okay and click on ok see you can see Uh, this key point one is constrained okay. then we apply a force at key point two okay. so we'll select the command or the option force moment on key points we'll select key point number two apply okay so this force is applied in y direction so we'll select fy and we put the value minus 750 minus 750 means the force applied in downward y direction therefore we give one negative sign then click on ok this load will be applied okay, okay so this pre-processing steps are finished okay then the second step is solution so click on solution uh, option go to solve click on current load step so this window will come solve current load step if you click on ok software uh, will solve the matrices stiffness matrices or what are the calculation steps uh, which are required to solve this problem this will be done in the background of the software so after the calculations are finished this message will come you can see this note solution is done okay. once this message will come 
then we can say that our model setup is okay okay there is no mistake in our uh, model setup or load setup what are the properties material element type which we have assigned those are correct if this message will not come then there is something left or there is some error will come in the model analysis okay so solution is done you can click on close button and you can proceed for the last step which is post processing okay you can see this general post processing command okay here uh, many options uh, you, you can observe so for post processing we will just see the <coughs> behavior of this beam for the applied boundary condition and load okay so we will just plot the results for deformation and stress go to plot results command click on deform shape we will see deform as well as undeform portion of this beam okay you can see the white colored line it shows <coughs> the original it shows the original position of this beam and the blue colored line shows the deflected position of the beam okay we'll see the behavior of this beam or the areas where the maximum deformation comes go to contour plot click on nodal solution this window will come click on degree of freedom solution we need to calculate displacement vector sum so click on displacement displacement means deflection you can see this colored different colors assigned to this beam okay. so you can see this from blue to red okay there is some meaning for this uh, colored combination okay you can see here dmx means maximum deflection is 1.82 mm okay so red color indicates the maximum deflection and blue color indicates the minimum deflection okay you can see at fixed support we have zero value okay so deflection will be zero at fixed support and it will be maximum at the free end okay and throughout the beam length uh, we have different values of deflection Really, you can plot the element table also. 